It's time for a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I thought I'd come at you with a uh, standalone shrimp update. Haven't done that for several months and I thought it was time to do so. So uh, just kind of walk through everything and uh, let you guys see what I've got going on. Um, before I get started though, a couple of reminders. Aquatic Experience coming up uh, October 19th. Hopefully this video will be out before then, but if not, I apologize. Make sure you come and stop by the YouTube booth. It's uh, connected to Flip Aquatics booth, and uh, there's gonna be over 30 YouTubers there. Um, all aquatic related YouTubers, of course. So it's kind of basically called the Fish Tube booth. Come by and meet us all, I'll be there. Um, come find me and I'll uh, give you a 20% uh, off my website uh, discount card. Uh, my website is AquaticSupportSystems.com and on there, if you're not familiar with it, you can purchase fish food and tons of shrimp food. I carry uh, most of the Shrimp King products. I carry, well, there's some more sitting out here, Bacteria E, Shrimp Dinner, uh, Shrimp Mineral, KHGH, those types of things. Um, Low Keys, MK Breed. What else? I'm forgetting one. Low Keys, Low Keys, MK Breed, Glass Gardens, Shrimp King. Anyway, if I'm missing one, you can find it on the website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. Um, great prices on all your favorite shrimp foods, so go check it out. Some Planet Tank products too, Thrive Furts, uh, Moss Ledges, Choya Wood, things like that. Um, the A through S grade Crystal Reds are doing real well. As always, this has kind of been my workhorse tank or my uh, long-lasting, reliable tank. Um, and as you can see, they're doing real well. There's all sorts of babies and adults in this tank. And uh, as always, if you're interested in any of these, um, well, I used to always put my email in the bottom, but now you can just go to my website and go to the contact section and find my email. The uh, Pinto tank, Black Pinto tank, is definitely overdue for calling. There are a lot of Pinto Michelings in here, but there's a lot of nice Pintos in here too. Um, spotted heads, um, the ones with the uh, like fishbone or zebra pattern, whatever you want to call it, a few bellies, but there, real, there are quite a few Michelings in here too. If you're looking for any Pinto Michelings, hit me up. Um, I'd be happy to sell those to you. And then the uh, SS to SS grade Crystal Reds. I've sold a lot of these lately, and this colony is uh, fairly depleted, so don't really have anything available there right now. The PRL colony is doing great, and these are available for sale if you're looking. Hit me up again, but uh, sorry about the glare with that light there behind it. As you can see, quite a few babies going on in here, and uh, the colony's doing real well. Okay, behind me is a super crystal red tank, and I do find babies from time to time. I've also found buried females. I believe that's one right here. And things are going fairly good in this tank. I just wish there was a lot more breeding going on. But um, you can see a few smaller grow outs. Here's a little baby. A lot of the babies do hide and I've been doing better at feeding baby food lately. So um, hopefully that'll change things. There's a little one on top of the sponge filter back there, but would really like to see this colony flourish. The mixed Thai B tank is, uh, or Thai B, Taiwan B tank, I should say, doing real well. I am, I am, uh, okay to sell blue bolts out of this tank but that's really about it the red bolts have kicked off quite a few white ones which i'm going to move out of here and put into my white caradina slash gold caradina tank but quite a colony going on here doing real well move over here and gotten way behind on this uh, Savage Red tank. 
there's a lot that needs to be called in here. But they're still breeding. You can see all these babies swimming around. Those aren't babies. These, those are, wow. Somehow there is fish in this tank. I just recently put in this uh, Christmas moss and I bet you anything that's crazy. There's nothing else. I don't even know what those would be. What, what type of little fry those would be. I'm gonna have to trace back and remember who I got this Christmas moss from and see. Kind of funny, I didn't notice this until now, but uh, I can tell too that there is a, a little bit of a plant area problem in here. Um, I thought I had eradicated it, but uh, it's still there. I can see a few. I'm not sure if the video is picking it up, but anyway, we're gonna have to get rid of those fry before they get big enough to eat the baby shrimp. The uh, Blue Dream Colony's doing just fine. Um, quite a few throughout the tank. Sold quite a few lately. Kind of rebuilding this now, but I could uh, spare 10 or 20 if somebody's looking for some. Hit me up if you are. Um, I showed you in the intro to the video, the Pinto Colony is doing really good. The Red, red Pinto all various shapes and patterns um really happy about that hoping that that continues i'm seeing new babies all the time in this tank and uh having success growing them out now for a while i was not seeing the babies mature um but there's a bunch of babies over here this is the white Caradina or golden Caradina, golden bee, whatever you want to call it, tank. Um, these are available. Um, these come from my Taiwan bee tank and also my crystal red. The SS to SSS tank does kick out quite a few that are um, just white, so that's where they come from. The Bloody Mary colony is definitely expanding and growing. A lot of babies in there, and I'm pretty happy about that. So we're going to just continue to monitor and watch them and hopefully uh, call out anything that needs to be called out and watch this colony thrive. Crystal Blacks are doing really good. I apologize for that algae on the tank, but sometimes I like to just let it grow on there and let the, them graze on it. But again, these are available also, as are the mixed tie B tank. Um, these are available as well. If you're interested, hit me up. Quite a few different colors and patterns in here. And we can go upstairs and Check out uh, the last couple of tanks up there real quick. All right, so we're up in my office here, and this is the uh, Blue Bolt only tank. This line, you know, they breed pure um, or just just kick out Blue Bolts, nothing else. So um, don't have a ton in here, but they have been doing some breeding lately, and I've seen some babies, so we're going to continue to watch that and hope that things go well. I've got a few dwarf craze that I've really been getting into lately and actually there's another tank downstairs that I forgot to show you but I'm gonna move them all into one but these guys have been fun to watch they're kind of reddish in color they were supposed to be either brown or blue I've seen one blue one in here and the rest are kind of this reddish I guess you could call it brown but there's one, I can't find them right now, but it's really, really red. Uh, the 90 gallon plant, it also has some uh, shrimp in it, some cherries, um, pretty high grade cherries. I'm looking to add some more to this tank uh, once I get things back under control. Had a really bad BBA problem 
that I finally gotten under control. I ended up ripping out the entire um, Monte Carlo carpeting and I'm starting fresh with, you can see just some spots of Monte Carlo there. But uh, some shrimp in there, the buried mama. Nice. Once we get this tank really rolling again, it's gonna look super nice. I'm looking forward to it. Some nice purling going on with the Erio Vietnam there. Down below here is the wine red tank that just hasn't done much. I think I'm down to about five shrimp in there. You can see two of them up front right there. Yeah, not much else to say about that. I gotta figure something out here and get back on the program. So that's really it for this month. Um, I appreciate all you that subscribe to this channel and that watch my videos and comment on them and stuff like that. Um, again, uh, Aquatic Experience, October 19th through 21st. Make sure you find me at the Fish Tube booth connected to Flip Aquatics. Um, say hi, ask me for a discount coupon and I'll give you one. You can get 20% off of anything on my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. Shrimp King, Glass Gardens, Salty Shrimp, Low Keys, MK Breed, all those great brands of food. Um, I also sell Southern Delight Fish Food and Fluval Bug Bites, in addition to Thrive Fertilizers and some other things like Moss Ledges and Choya Wood and stuff like that. So anyway, hope to see you at the Aquatic Experience. Until next time, later.